Hi friends, in this tutorial I will show you how to implement a login in yourself with a Google account. That is, you allow users to have an option to login with Google account as their username in your website. This is because there are some instances that you want to make a simple security login by using a security provided by other providers like Google, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub. In this story, we will focus on in Google API that we are going to authenticate users with Google account. And now I am going to start by creating a same project. and I'll leave everything as default. You can create a project in a normal way if you don't have this initialize. I'll name as all stood and the project name is all In the description, I'll leave as default in the package name. So I need a Spring Web and in security, I need this one. I'll use also this one, but I don't want this one. I need this one only. Now everything is fine, you can open our project now. In the resource area, we are going to open this one. And this is our project. Let's create a simple controller here for Kyle. Now let's try to run our project for the first time. We we'll run everything. While our project is running, you may open. You may open our form file here and to see the dependence that we specified. We specified this dependence this one this is going to create an or authentication in our server that is whatever if you are going to use Facebook you are going to use Twitter you are going to use GitHub you are going to use Google but this one is a part okay our project is running now remember starting port at 8 then open this port. Because our project is running, it requires a, a login. This is created by default. with Spring Boot. You can see the password that have been generated automatically. This has been created because we specified this Spring Boot start hours to current. This is the same as Spring Boot security dependence. So this one is I've created a default user with password this one. But you don't need this one early demo login here 
now we have log in and in the hello home page you can see a hello it is we have went in our control here this one hello it this so now we're going to implement a login and in simple way i'm going to implement an algorithm that when a user is not logged in is directed automatically to the google consent screen for login activity but in your project you may specify a url for or a button for login with google account for instance you may, you may implement a an, an algorithm to login user with username and password or with google account or with facebook account so you need to specify a login form and the button is for login with all our speed. so here you can search for a video on how to create these credentials on your google account then after you have created you have to copy that you have to copy a current id you put here you have to copy a current secret you put here and you have to copy a direct url now because you are going to implement an all authentication we have to define a security configuration in order to override the security that is created by default with Spring Boot. This username and password that have been created is created by default with Spring Security. So we are going to override in order to implement our. I will create a package called security. Also, I can create another package. That this one I put in the controller here. And in the security, I will create a class. my my security config my security config in order for this one to work so we have to replace we have to annotate as a configuration that it will be identified by spring security for as a component also we have to enable spring security here we have to define a filter chain method that is a method that, that is going to override a security configuration for spring security and this filter chain will pass a, an HTTP security as a parameter as you can see in my code here. This is used to operate the security. I have to put a login processing URL that is our login is going to be processed here. And our login page has to be something like this so my friend you don't worry about this because this is to define a a page that is when a user is not authenticated or authorized in our page is going to be
be directed in this URL. Then once a user direct to this URL, the screen security automatically sends the user to the Google Consent screen. So in I in implement a success handler here. That is when a user success logged in from the get from the new outside get success and this uh, is an interface that you have to implement a method this one on our get it that we say for instance super dot or uh, we have to say request request.authenticate response that is once a user is logged in success a user is authenticated in your server you can put also a file 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 enter that is when you use a file to log in what your action New authentication for a reason that is an interface we need to, to define the implementation of it. This method is that is required to be implemented. So you, you can put here something that if a user fail to log in, what action you are going to take here. I put here your logic. After I've customized our HTTP security. Now we have to return something that is we need to make file as a return for it. We have to return a security filter chain. And the security filter chain is, is there is a method from this HTTP security class to, to return a security filter chain. You call this read. This is a time. We are going to run our project for house education. And I'll configure to run at port eight eight. Then you can see because we have override the security configuration by using this filter security filter chain that is said to be security we have override. You can see now our server started, but it has not created the default use and the password here is not created. That is the cost here. You can see now we are going direct to the Google login. That is this name is according to what you configured in the Google Cloud Console. That is your website name or your project name. You can see we are directed to this to open again. You can see you are now authenticated. And you can see now we have, we have been able to this token okay, error it. We can get the we can get the email of a user who is logged in from our code here. I'll show you how default or default or it use use equal to 
security context order dot get context dot get authentication dot get principle dot okay and we need to cast this because yes cast we need to cast as a tip dot use that is again dot use a reachable statement we have to call return hello let us say return hello I have to concatenate user dot get email here and I want to display the image on our cage but image on our cage but image on our cage So in the source here, I'll put that is this one. Maybe because my account don't have an image, that's why user don't get picture. But I think you have you have understood what the pair algorithm. Thanks for watching friends and in the next video I'll show you how to implement a Spring Security with database connection that is a Spring Security authenticate user from your database as opposed to a, an anomaly user or simply the user created